man, people are so annoying. Every time I'm filming, I come to a place that's like deserted where there's no one and there's no reason for anyone to stop. Um, and so I start filming and then all of a sudden, a cow will pull in randomly and park right behind me. And then a cow will pull in and park right in front of me. And then they'll get out and just stare uh, and just sort of walk around the trees or something and just listen to you and look at you. It's so weird, like, far out. The other day when I was filming that, um, the maintenance video, uh, we're at a park bench and I was just set up sitting there. And then Karen came along with her coffee and just decided to sit on that park bench and watch us. Uh, so we had to move, it was just awkward. Far out, people have like no, no sense of, hey, this guy's doing something, I'll leave him alone. Either that, or they probably look at me, um, have a lot of people look at me, and uh, probably think I'm up to no good. You know, dodgy brown guy in a white van parked there, using high tech camera technology, he must be a terrorist. It must be up to no good. I'll make sure he's not doing anything dodgy so I can report him to the Department of Homeland Affairs. That's my spare tire here, underneath my car at the back. And the size of this tire is the original size for this car. It's a 215 uh, 70 R15. Although on this car, I have 225 60 17s. So the overall diameter of the wheels on this car are much bigger than the original size, both rim and tire. And you want to be a little bit careful when you have an all wheel drive or a full time four wheel drive vehicle uh, and you start changing up or down the tire sizes. I'm sure we all know about how each tire takes a different path and some of the tires on a car uh, will travel different distances. And this is a lot of common knowledge that a lot of people already understand and know, yet still forget about one thing, and that's a spare tire in the back, uh, and get into trouble. So what happens when you have a full-time four-wheel drive car like this, and you have a tire blowout, and you have to go put that spare tire on? One of those wheels is going to be spinning rapidly faster than the other side. That can cause strain on your differential and that strain can even travel up the drive shaft and into your gearbox and transfer case. Uh, and it's something called driveline windup. Uh, I guess for short distances it might not be too bad, but overall you definitely want to be rolling on the same size tires. So how do you prevent any issues? Well obviously if you're going to get bigger tires for your car, then replace a spare as well. If you don't want to buy a brand new spare tire or a brand new tire uh, just to use as a spare, uh, you can go on something like Gumtree or Craigslist or Trade Me, depending on where you are in the world, and just pick up a tire to keep as a spare in the size that you need. And in most cases, uh, it'll already be mounted on a rim, it'll be used, and it'll be really cheap. Or you can do what I do. So I have two sets of rims for this car. One is the original size, uh, original Toyota rims, um, on original size tires. If I get a flat or a puncture when I have the original tires on, I'll just replace it with a spare on the car. But when I'm rolling these wheels, that sounds so gangster, when I'm rolling these wheels. Um, if I do get a puncture, I have this little box on the back, which I'll show you. Uh, I actually have a video on the box. Uh, it's probably, I think it was the first or second video I ever made. Didn't get many views, but here, check this out. So this is my box, it's a nice box, <laughs> I was just in a dumb mood, uh, people are listening to me like oh my god this guy's crazy. So this is a box that I have, uh, this is diesel clean and boost from Liqui, Mo Liqui Molly, uh, it's a litre and one litre treats a thousand litres of diesel. So you basically, the cap's about that big, uh, you fill up the cap and dump it in your fuel tank uh, before you fill up and it just makes sure that everything runs really well. The box. This is in case I get a puncture with these Matora Motors wheels uh, and it's kind of just like an emergency box, a basic box. Uh, so I've just got a rag and a electronic tire pressure tool. I have some valve tools and a spare fuse here for an air compressor and KFC wet wipes because why not? And then inside the box, ta-da! 
It's a 12 volt portable air compressor. It's a proper heavy duty one, uh, built for four wheel drives. So pumping up four four wheel drive tires after something like a beach run. Um, and it'll also do like a caravan or a boat. Um, in fact, this thing will run all day without an issue. What you would be interested in, or if I just stay on topic for once, god damn, uh, is this. It's a tire repair kit that I bought for $15 a few years ago. So yeah, tire repair kit. That tire repair kit has repaired, I think, four or five uh, tires once on my car and the rest for other people. So, this means that I can roll around and go off-road pretty comfortably uh, knowing that I will be... Knowing that I should be okay if I get uh, a puncture. And I seriously doubt that I'll get a puncture with these tires on this car um, and rolling around just city streets. All right, hope that video helps. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you around in the next one.